Making jewellery usually requires the use of findings. This is the term used to describe a number of parts that can be bought or made and used to help create a piece of jewellery. Other parts or components can also form part of the design. Pre-made findings are easy to find online and offer a quick and easy introduction to simple jewellery making. Here we have jump rings. Jump rings are integral to making jewellery. They come in a variety of sizes. They can be even smaller than the 4mm shown here. We have 4mm, 5mm, 6mm and we jump to 9mm. This is a 9mm but it is a closed one. These jump rings all have a join and, some ca and can be opened and shut. This is an 11mm. This is 22mm. And this one is another decorative one. So they come in a variety of styles and sizes. This is an oval one and this is a split ring. A split ring is used in conjunction with a clasp in order to close a necklace or a bracelet. It's a double ring and so it offers extra security. These are head pins. This one is a ball pin which means it has a ball on the end. These have flat heads. They come in a variety of sizes. These are standard 25mm, 35mm and 50mm. Eye pins have a loop on one end. These can be used to pop beads on and then you place another, another loop on the other side. These are spacer beads. This is a 2mm, 3mm, 4mm, 5mm, 6mm and 8mm. They come in a variety of finishes and styles and can offer a nice option in your design. These beads are a little more decorative and different shapes. This is a teardrop, a heart. These have larger holes. This is decorative and flat. It depends on what you want for your design. Charms can add another detail. These will hang down and move. This is a connector. These can be added to your design, adding a decorative feature as well as being a practical option. Chain, chain links can also be incorporated into the design and add a bit of detail. It can also form part of a necklace or a bracelet.